Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Kai here from Tic Tac Toe. Today, I want to share with you guys and the whole world of a really impressive, very good microphone, which is crazy, crazy cheap. It is not a $50 mic. It is not a $30 mic. It is not even $20. It is about $70. Tell you guys more about it after the intro. Okay, first of all, big shout out to Tom from The Enthusiasm Project. You guys should really check his channel. It's brilliant. Who made us aware of such an awesome piece of mic and presenting to you the $17 PAL mic. All the links and details of this mic at the description box below. Okay, this is the age of working uh, from home and video and audio conferencing. At one point of time, microphones became the best selling hardware. And that was sometime late April, I believe. There are great entry-level affordable mics uh, out there for all of us. I myself have a Rode port mic over here. I also have a legendary Shure SM58, which is mostly used in concert setups for vocalists. I also have a popular USB Blue Snowball mic. These are great, by the way but they cost more than a hundred dollars. Enter the PAL mic. If you do not have a keen eye, you might mistake this for a Shure SM57, which is an awesome mic, by the way, and they strangely look very familiar. So the PAL mic, uh, it is a dynamic mic, so you do not need to use phantom power to power it on. It can be used handheld, slim profile, and this is where you hold the mic in place. It connects via XLR cable, but it also comes with an XLR to 3.5 cable where you can jack this to your laptop directly. But for the best result, you have to consider it to connect this to an interface that has XLR connection. I usually connect it with my very good entry level interface called the Audion Evo 4 very impressive interface okay the polar pickup pattern on the palm mic is cardioid which means it picks up from the front and tries to reject the noise from the side as well as the back and because it is a dynamic mic it should technically do a better job at rejecting ambient noise okay i believe it is time to do some tests Okay, now I'm using the PAL mic over here, uh, which is connected to my very elegant and trustworthy Rodecaster Pro with all the audio processing turned off. And I'm going to boost the audio volume a little bit higher, probably to minus 6 dB. All the details are here, by the way. So switching to the PAL mic right about now. So this is the PAL mic, what you're listening to me. My voice, this is coming straight from the PAL mic, $17 mic. It's not bad, right? Okay, now let's see how it rejects noise from the side and the back. Now I am talking to the PAL mic, talking to the PAL mic, talking into the PAL mic from the front, just to give you guys an idea how it sounds when I revolve it 360 degrees, just to see how it rejects noise from the back and uh, the side. So now I am talking to the front of the mic. Now I am turning the mic sideways and I am talking at the side of the mic. Now it is 180 degrees away from me. I am talking from the back and now I am at the side again and we are back at the front. So that's how the pickup pattern is from the PAL mic. Now I am about one inch away from the mic to test out its proximity effect. Now, I am about 30 centimeters away from the mic. Now, I am about one meter away from the mic. And yes, I'm probably observing social distancing over here. All right, now just for fun, let's test this. Do some comparison with my pod mic and my Shure SM58. Let's go. Okay, I am still with the PAL mic. And I've already arranged uh, the three mics just to compare. The pod mic is over here. The Shure SM58 is over here and the PAL mic is over here. So what you are still hearing is sound coming from 
the uh, the PAL mic. Okay, now switching to the Rode Pod mic, whatever audio that you are listening to, this is coming straight from the uh, Rode Pod mic. And now switching over to the Shure SM58, this is the audio that is coming out straight from the Shure SM58. Uh, just now, before I did the test, I totally forgot to plug the XLR cable in. Yeah, it's late. And going over to the PAL mic, the $17 PAL mic, whatever audio that you are listening to is from the PAL mic. Okay, let's throw in a little bit more fun. Let's do a movie quote uh, just for fun. And if you know the line to this movie, comment down below at the comment section, okay? Be silent. Keep your forked tongue behind your teeth. I have not passed through fire and death to bend the crooked words with a witless worm. Be silent. Keep your forked tongue behind your teeth. I have not passed through fire and death to bend the crooked words with a witless worm. Be silent. Keep your forked tongue behind your teeth. I have not passed through fire and death to bend the crooked words with a witless worm. And lastly, be silent. Keep your forked tongue behind your teeth. I have not passed through fire and death to bend the crooked words with a witless worm. So how about that? $17 mic. Sounding quite awesome. I mean, if anyone were to ask me or to blindfold me and take a test, I would say it would probably cost about $80 to $100. But the only thing that isn't good, in my opinion, is the pulse mic handling of plosives. You know, your P's, your B's, your T's, your P's, your bars, your T's. Uh, the pickup for all the plosives from this mic is rather aggressive. It is not... Uh, handle as best or as good as the two mics over here. All right, just to give you guys another test. All right, let's do a a plosives um, tongue twister. Peter Piper picked a pack of people, people. <laughs> Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Where's the pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Is that right? I think it's right. So as you can see, the plosives are not handled well. But of course, there is an obvious um, solution to the mic handling plosives. All you need to do is get a pop filter, something like what I have over here. This costs about $10 in Amazon. And all you need to do is mount this to the PAL mic and you can talk like a normal person. Okay, let's try the uh, the plosives tongue twister again. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, where's the pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? You can see the difference, right? This is... Uh, without the pop filter and this is with the pop filter without the pop filter with the pop filter without the pop filter with the pop filter so there's an obvious difference get this ten dollars seventeen dollars twenty seven dollars you're good to go all right guys that has been the test and the review for this uh, pile mic i hope you don't mind that i don't switch back to my very expensive road pot mic and I'm just going to stick to this one. Uh, again, if you are on a budget, if you don't want to spend a lot of money to buy this $27 with the pop filter, you can just get it and it, you will sound good in your teleconferences, in your video conferences. I promise you. Oh yeah, before that, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Like in the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification button so you'll get notified on whatever future videos that we upload. I totally forget about that. Okay. Okay, th that's it, that's it. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye.